seven, eight. Ka ku ku ka ka ku ku ka 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 ka. Got it. Ka ku ku ka ka ku ku ka 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 ka. Okay, it's not just the sounds. You have to do the movement that goes with the sounds. Then I don't have it. Okay, uh, as you know, as you all know, Broadway is in trouble, and that's why we're all here. Now, uh, you know me, I am the Phantom of the Opera. And I'm Mark from, the, from Rent, the Pulitzer Prize winning musical. Unbelievable. All right, look, guys, we know it's bad out there, and we are all struggling. Yeah, some people are even having a hard time paying rent. Oh, my God. Please. Don't do that anymore. Okay, uh, first off, is, uh, is everyone here? Yeah, everyone except Jeremy Piven, but I don't think he has a good excuse. Well, I don't doubt it. Hmm. All right, well, that's okay. All right, we need everyone's best ideas to save Broadway, all right? So, uh, let's get started. Yes, you. It is I, the magical Mr. Mistopheles, and here's my suggestion. We need to feel the wonder. Oh, man. Oh, you people from Catch, you think you're so great, you know that? <laughs> Seriously, you think you're the Michael Jordan of Broadway. I don't know, what is that? that? What is that? <laughs> hey, man, no, no, no. You guys don't know who Michael Jordan is? No. no. What? Guys, he, he, he was like the, uh, the Tommy Toon of basketball. <gasps> oh, oh yeah, there you go, there you go. Yeah, that's right, yeah, 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 exactly. Okay, come on. All right, guys, let's see, uh, who's next? All right, okay, what about you, music man? We got a devil pickle, putting people into seats. Uh -huh. We got actors being forced to find real jobs. Well, we got trouble right here in New York City. I'm talking trouble with a capital T that rhymes with C and that stands for Cutco Knives. Now, just $49.95. Okay. <laughs> stop, stop, please, professor, just stop, okay? Hey, for what it's worth, those knives are amazing. Yeah. They're like the rent of knives. Oh, man. <laughs> cool it. Hey, guys, can we just stop effing around, okay? Because if Wicked closes, I have very limited job options. I mean, look at me. Well, you're green. Maybe you could be in Shrek the musical. Wow, that's racist. No, 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 no. that's not racist. No, not racist, no, lady. No, that's enough, that's enough, okay? And for the record, Broadway is an inclusive place. No one here is racist, okay? Moving on. Yes, you, from the color purple. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not in the color purple. Oh. Don't oh, bring in the noise, bring in the funk. I, I wrote Miss Saigon. Eee, okay, sorry. <laughs> uh, all right, uh, what's your idea? Isn't it time we revive Miss Saigon? Ugh, <laughs> uh, are we almost done here? What, why, where do you have to be? Well, I don't have to be anywhere, but I need to get to my new job. I give massages behind a Thai place in the Lower East Side. <laughs> Okay, no, I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. Thank you. Hey, everyone. Why so glum? The sun will come out no. tomorrow. No. Bet your Sit bottom down. dollar no, no. Hey, Annie, 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 sweetie, not the time, okay? <laughs> Please? Yeah, watch yourself, Phantom. Had a hard knock life, okay? Someone steps to me, I break them. Okay, all right, all right. <laughs> Wow. Okay. Oh, Guys, come on, man. We're creative people. We just need one good idea. Anyone. Anyone at all. Blue Man Group. <laughs> oh, man. You know, sometimes you guys can be a bunch of blue dicks. Ooh, hey, what about the ladies from Chicago? Oh. At all. What about you, dude from Stomp? <laughs> wow. Wow. Still relevant. <laughs> okay. All right. So no one has any 
ideas. I mean, no one? Wait, 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 I got it. What? We can put on a big show with lavish costumes and huge expensive sets. We'll charge like $150 a ticket. What? No, 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 no guys, no, that's the thing that isn't working no, anymore. No, and then at the end, we'll all join hands. Where the hell's that And we'll sing from? the anthem of the 90s. Please don't. Please. No, I'm not. 525,600 no, men. Stop. Stop. Let's here stop. we go. 525,000. No, okay? Okay, that's it. You leave me no choice. Go! 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 Wow. wow, really? I'm sorry. No, that's usually a showstopper. I don't. That's... <laughs> God, this meeting is awful. It could not get any worse. What was that? Well, it was the fiddler on the roof. He jumped. There's no business like no business like no business. Writing the Mean Girls musical has been a dream come true. The only awkward thing is that people keep coming up to me saying, like, why aren't you in it? And when are you going to be in it? Just the other day, Cecily Strong said, girl, you must be in it. Oh, what I said was, girl, you must be in it. Like, meaning you must be really busy. She high-fived me really hard after, so it was clear she misunderstood. I don't think anyone really expected Tina to be in the show. She's not really loud enough, and she has a really small head. But the thing that really inspired me was one day, my best friend Aidy and I were listening to the Hamilton soundtrack. Tina kept talking over it, you know, just kind of being like, Lynn wrote this, but they let him be in it. Can you just leave me out of this? Also, did she say we were best friends? Tina Fey starring in the Mean Girls musical is going to be fetch. <laughs> in that, it's not going to happen. She's, she's, she's not going to be. Not a chance. Talk yourself nope. out of it. Nope. OK, guys, so today we're going to put Tina into the show. Guys, I am so excited for all of us. And my friends, Aidy and Cecily, are here today to support me because this was basically their idea. Oh, oh, no. no. I, I was told it was a baby shower. So I'm just going to shadow you guys and sort of see what part it might be fun for the audience to see me do for like a week or so. Uh, one matinee. That's what we agreed to. Let's get started. <laughs> Seven, eight. Ga, goo, goo, ga, ga, goo, goo, ga, 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 ga. Got it. Ga, goo, goo, ga, ga, goo, goo, ga, 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 ga. OK, it's not just the sounds. You have to do the movement that goes with the sounds. <laughs> then I don't have it. What if my Regina just kind of log rolls in and hits a cool pose. OK. I think that's actually better. All right, let me ask you guys this. What kind of vibrato do you think I should use? What do you mean? Well, I notice some people go very straight tone, like Broadway. But my vibrato is naturally a lot wider, like happy birthday to you. So this is kind of a Gretchen goes to the mall look. Can I play Gretchen? Oh. Yeah, yeah, you look great. Yeah, is maybe, is the wig big? Yeah, I'm just not sure you're passing as a teenager. Also, I'm not gonna be able to dance in these shoes. I'm gonna need the kind of shoes I wear in real life. They can only be ordered in the back of Parade Magazine. They have copper in them, and they're called Sunset Steppers, and they also have a little pouch that holds your pills. A five, six, seven, eight! I think this could be a really fun use of you. It's like a little Easter egg, and then at some point I take the head off. Yeah, exactly, or not. OK, come on, guys, let's go. A five, Ooh. six, seven, eight. Oh, 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 But ultimately, I realized that Broadway is hard, and the people who do it are super talented. Maybe it's OK if I can't be like Lin-Manuel and jam myself into my show, whether people like it or not. OK, you know what? She just made the book. <laughs> Let me tell you about this tiny-headed bitch named Tina. Half this Super Bowl 48 between the Denver Broncos and the Seattle Seahawks. Absolutely, Jimmy. <laughs> that one play with the one guy who did that one thing, incredible. <laughs> but the big story of this game is the unfortunate news of Bruno Mars and the Red Hot Chili Peppers having to cancel their halftime show. Yeah, I guess their flight had to be rerouted due to the polar vortex. Oh, man, I really wanted to see Bruno Mars. <laughs> 
That little fedora wearing jumping bean, I just love it. Fortunately, the producers scrambled and were able to find a last second replacement just across the Hudson River. Yes, sir. This year's halftime show is going to be performed by some of the best and brightest of Broadway. The show's about to begin, so let's head down to the field. Holy cannoli! Growing up in New Jersey, I never thought I'd ever see a Super Bowl played in my own backyard. Hey, ain't you Peyton Manning? Is it that obvious? <laughs> Today's the big game. Ain't you nervous? <laughs> a little. After all, it is the Super Bowl. The Super Bowl. It's Denver and Seattle. Ancient rivals locked in battle. The players are in their costumes. And now it's time for them to travel. Across the road, 100 yards of And then she walked in. <laughs> ah, face it, Peyton. You can't throw with a dog. Not from where I stand. <laughs> my name's Mama Pass, and I'm the best dating quarterback coach this side of 7th Avenue. And I can tell you all you need a little womp womp. Throw it where they're going and make sure that they're wearing. Womp, womp, your same color jerk, cause if they catch you, you'll be womp, womp, scoring all the touchdowns, that's the only way to womp, womp, win all the points. Ah, oh, mama pass, you really think I could win the Super Bowl? Oh, you bet your hand, Muff. Nothing's gonna stop you. Well, don't be so sure of that. Oh, no! Richard Sherman! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Ben Vereen. Hello, Peyton. If you're not careful, I'm gonna steal your ball. Here's a tip. Don't throw it where you hear the tap. A tap like this. A tap 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 and that's what you call an interception. Wait a minute, wait a minute, knock it off, Sherman. Save it for the field. It's game time. <laughs> I thought it healed. Ah, such a fool. <coughs> don't, don't speak. Just sing. I guess the game is lost. All you need is womp womp. Suppose I was just too old. Don't you say it, womp womp. At least you're by my side. He's bleeding, Time womp Time to say goodbye. This is not what I wanted. We're all just strangers. here for the Super Bowl. <laughs> and live from New York, York.
Are you tired of family entertainment with no edge, no grit? Then let the New York Actor Studio show you a new twist on an old classic. It's You're a Rat Bastard, Charlie Brown, <laughs> starring Glen Gary Glen Ross's Al Pacino. Christmas is coming, but I'm not happy. Philip Seymour Hoffman as Pigpen. You know, I think the whole Christmas experience is overrated. Pigpen! Charlie. You look like <laughs> You smell like <laughs> But you're my friend, Pigpen. With Edie Falco as Lucy. Charlie Brown, what the heck do you think you're doing? This is Christmas. You can't just be moping around. It's not right. I know. I know what you need. Why? I have Ativan. You want that? Oh, yeah. Little Valium? Oh, yeah. You like a Clonopin? I want something to take me sky high. It's Charlie Brown by way of Brooklyn, with Larry David as Lux. I don't know, this whole Christmas thing, it's a whole to-do, you know, with the parties and the presents and the decorating. Eh, it's not for me. What do you mean Christmas is not for you? Don't tell me it's not for you. If I say it's for you, then it's for you. Oh, so, 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 so I'm just supposed to accept what you say? You know what? You don't know what the hell you're talking about. <laughs> you, Linus. <laughs> me? Yeah. Why don't you go <laughs> yourself, Charlie Brown? Ah. Oh. Plus the whole Peanuts game, like Forrest Whitaker as Franklin. Charlie, what's the meaning of Christmas? Kristen Chenoweth reprises her Broadway role as Sally. Dear Santa, how was your summer? Did y'all have a swell little grand old time? <laughs> Michael Keaton as Schroeder. You want to get peanuts? Come on! Let's get peanuts. And all the adults. Nobody likes me, Ma. Wah, 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 wah. Ah, you're killing me, Ma! Voiced by the incomparable Fran Drescher. Oh, that's like a knife in my heart! Charlie, <laughs> ah. well, you're out of eggnog. I'm out of eggnog. Yeah. You're out of eggnog! No. This whole party's out of eggnog! It's all the iconic Charlie Brown moments you remember from childhood. Lucy! You gonna hold the football? Yes! You gonna hold that football? Yes! All right, here I go! Charge! Wow! <laughs> oh, you bitch! <laughs> oh. Come the down! It's Charlie Brown. Get the out of here! It's good grass. It's soft. All right, we're gonna take an intermission real quick. You're a rat bastard, Charlie Brown. In previews now and forever, so they can never review it. It's a uh, pretty, pretty, pretty good. Sugar, babe, it's the opening night of Cats, and the curtain goes up in 15 minutes. We got a scootalizer. Oh, sure, I'd be delighted. Just let me turn off some of these lamps. <laughs> and now, Liza Minnelli tries to turn off a lamp. Just let me chuck it out over here. <laughs> oh, I see it. He's the scoundrel. He's the troublemaker right here. Time to turn this dude out. Want me to help you, Eliza? Oh, no, darling. You just relax. I just need to find the clicker or the switch that turns this whole cuckoo thing down. Is there a little knob on here that you turn and everything goes black? I don't know, Eliza. It's probably pretty simple. You tell that to Debbie Reynolds. What? OK, there's got to be a turner or like a button. Shane, remember that? Remember what, Liza? Shane, ball kick Shane, remember that? Oh, Atlantic City. I choked on a shrimp. I don't know what you're talking about. Liza, forget the light. We gotta go. Oh, I'm thinking it might be in the box of a middle of a car. Hey, 
baby, we're gonna miss the show. Don't make those little kiddies wait. We're gonna miss Kai. Oh, then I better turn off the skinny lady. Is it a foot chopper? Once. <laughs> Twice. <laughs> Turn the lamp off. Unplug it for Chris and Pete. The car's waiting downstairs. Oh, that's right. The lamp, that little rascal. Oh, where? Here it is. I found the cord. I just have to pull it out of the wall. Oh, look how long this cord has been for reading. It's long. I'm not getting anywhere with it. It's like Tommy June. Because you're walking in place. Once again, not my house, not my lamb. Oh, here it is, it's just a button. That's on my neck, but you don't push it, you gotta give it a little turn. I did it! Good job, Liza, baby, good job. Pow! And we missed the show. The heck with cats, let's dance! This has been Liza Minnelli tries to turn off a lamp. <laughs>